Hey, what's up guys and welcome to a brand new episode of Spike Reviews. Now today I bring you another product from the land of the rising sun. I know I've been on a roll with these Asian snacks, but honestly they're my favorite, so who cares, I'm gonna make videos on them. All right, this is a good one because uh, for the longest time I saw these on uh, Japanese 7-Eleven Kombini videos and I always wanted one so badly. And about around eh, maybe, maybe two years ago, I realized that Super H Mart by my house actually sells them. Now the reason I just didn't even care to look is because they were very hidden in the freezer aisle and I just never even checked the freezer aisle so that's kind of my fault. But anyways, here it is. It is the frozen wafer sandwich. So this is the equivalent of the American ice cream sandwich. This is the uh, Choco Monaca Jumbo as it is referred to in Japan. And essentially it is a wafer with a thin line of chocolate and ice cream on the inside. Now there are different variations, but the variation I got was the matcha flavor because I love matcha flavored things, desserts, breads, candies, everything in between. Matcha is just delicious. So the serving size is one pack right here and it is the matcha flavor like I mentioned. And it is kind of divided into two little humps right here. You can see on the package right there in the front. But it is one serving size. But it is kind of cool to have that division because if you don't want the whole thing because it can be a little bit sweet, then you can just share it with a friend. So yeah, I'm very excited to, tr to retry one of these, to revisit it because it's been around two years since I've had one of these and I wanted to share it with you guys. So uh, spoiler alert, it's probably going to get a pretty high rating because these are delicious spoiler alert but nevertheless I would I wanted to share this with you guys look at it look at it in all its glory now there are also other versions called taiyaki they are shaped like fish but taiyaki can also be either frozen like this ice cream sandwich or they can be served hot with many different ingredients like uh, custards they have red beans and now they even have Nutella versions for here in the US but uh yeah this I'm excited for. Now, let's not waste any more time. Let's get into it. Now, I can't drink matcha or tea or anything like that anymore because of the caffeine problem that I had a couple years back. But uh, matcha flavored, artificially flavored ice cream should should be fine. So here's what it looks like. It almost looks like two, do you guys remember the um, older looking Big Mac boxes from McDonald's? Or those uh, brown to go boxes? That's kind of what it looks like. Pretty hilarious to be honest. And then you get that waffle pattern and texture on the flip side. So you see that division? If you don't wanna eat the whole thing, you share it with a friend. And I might just do that right now because I don't know if I wanna eat the whole thing. So let's just dig in. That way you can get a visual of the inside before I bite into it. Now look at that. Look how delicious that looks. Crispy wafer, matcha ice cream, and a thin layer of dark chocolate. If I remember correctly, it is dark chocolate because that's kind of what it tasted like last time I had it. So without further ado, let's get into this. Cheers. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Mmm. -hmm. That's delicious. Oh man. The texture between the crispy wafer and then once you get to the layer of chocolate, it's nice and crunchy. And then you get that nice soft matcha ice cream. It's just amazing. So you get textural differences within the same snack, which is always a good thing. You get different flavor profiles. And it's just overall a very, very well balanced snack. Now I will say, since it is matcha ice cream and the chocolate is dark chocolate, and the wafer is fairly neutral, this is not overwhelmingly sweet. Which is, a, which is a good thing because the American counterpart, the ice cream, cl the classic ice cream sandwich is very, very sweet. Down to the, uh, the, the wafer on the top and the ice cream is very, very sweet. This one on the other hand, not as sweet, not as in your face, but very delicious. Like the flavors are just, are just balanced so well and uh, the textures are balanced so well. So I'm just gonna get another bite. Mmm, so good. All right, this is gonna be another one of those rare 10 out of 10 moments. I have to give it a 10 out of 10. To me, this is the perfect ice cream sandwich. No other comparison out there, I'm sorry. The vanilla 
version is good too, but matcha just has it beat. Personal opinion, of course. So 10 out of 10 for the Japanese ice cream sandwich. If you guys have a Super H Mart or a 99 Ranch or any other kind of Japanese surplus store or Asian Mart, go try and find one of these because they're just delicious. You gotta experience it at least once in your life. And once you get one, you're probably gonna buy a lot more. So yeah, as always guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that little bell so you're notified every time I drop a brand new video. Be kind to each other, wash your hands, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.